Hello researchers. How are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to show you the live demonstration of installation of MS-DOS operating system version 6.22. MS-DOS was Microsoft product or I can say the first product from Microsoft as a whole operating system and it was a command based user operating system. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to install MS-DOS. Now as you can see on the screen, I have already installed VMware Workstation 11 onto my machine. VMware Workstation is basically a virtualization based software on which you can easily grab from VMware.com or you can download it from the torrent websites free of cost with a serial key which has already been given. So in this video, I am going to show you the live demonstration how to install MS-DOS. Now as you can see, I have already downloaded the MS-DOS operating system in the three disk based images. The each image as you can see, if I right click on this and I click properties, I can see that every disk image is about 1.40 MB. So how to download it, where to grab that, these three disks I will be showing you in the links which will be available to you after you uh, see this video at the downside. So let us fire up the installation and let me show you how easy it is to install MS-DOS in a virtual machine. So let us go to this file and click on new virtual machine or either you can click on create a new virtual machine. So I just click on this create a new virtual machine. So over here, there we've coined a new welcome wizard in which it is welcoming with, with typical and custom. So click on this typical, which is a recommended version and click next. So over here, we have the three options, installer disk, installer disk image file, but I will be choosing, I will install the operating system later. So click on this option and click on next. So if you can click over here, you can find the various guest operating systems. So I'm on the DOS, so I click on other and over here you can find that there is MS-DOS option. So click on this MS-DOS option and click on next. So this is the virtual machine name. I just give any name over here and there we find the location. So I click on browse. I go to my computer and I go to this F drive of my hard disk and I click on a new folder, create a new folder that is called MS-DOS operating system. So I click OK. Now you can see that the location where the virtual machine is going to be installed is to be F drive slash MS-DOS operating system, the new folder which we have created right now. So click on next. So this is the page where you find the storage capacity. You can either increase the GB size and I can say that MS-DOS was a very light operating system. So 2 GB is very enough for us to, in order to install MS-DOS. So click next and now this is a very important step friends. Don't click finish. We have the floppy images of this because you know at the time when MS-DOS was launched, we don't have any CD-ROMs or DVD-ROMs. The DOS used to be installed with a floppy disk. So I click on customize hardware. And over here we have to click add. So now I have to click floppy drive. So click next. Now this is the floppy drive image. So click on use a floppy image. So click next. And here we have to click on browse. I go to my desktop where I have already downloaded my operating system. So I click on disk one dot image. So click on this connected power on so that the, uh, the VMware should be able to grab that disk and should be able to install the MS-DOS operating system. So click on finish and now click on close. And now ladies and gentlemen, let's fire the MS-DOS installation. So click finish. So now let me power on this virtual machine. So I click on file. I click on full screen. So it, you can see that it is starting the MS-DOS and now I have been already got to the welcome screen of MS-DOS 6.22. So in order to install, you can find all these options over here like enter to continue, F1 for help, F3 for exit, F5 to remove color, F7 to install to a floppy disk. So I just have to click on enter and uh, it will fire up the operating system. So now in this option, we have to just see that the MS-DOS will have to see some unallocated space like the 2 GB, which we have already specified in that window. So I just have to do nothing. So I just click enter to configure unallocated disk space, which is recommended over here. So I click enter. And now it and see that setup will start your computer now. Please make sure that disk one is in drive A. As you can, I have already told you that I have browsed the disk image one from the floppy disk drive. So I click on enter. 
so now the system has restarted and now it has started with a DOS installation so we can see that the C drive is being formatted and now the settings are being corrected so I click on enter so this is a place which you can know that it is creating only one partition of 2 GB so I click enter to install into C drive DOS so click enter so now as we know that the, all the files from disk 1 has already been installed so what I have to do I just have to minimize this and I go to click on right click my DOS click on settings and now I have to go to this floppy drive I have to browse the next image that is disk 2 image so click on open and click OK so now I come back to the screen over here and I click again enter so now again I have to provide them the disk 3 so I have to click on settings and again I will go to this floppy drive I go to this browse and I click on disk 3 image I click on OK and I click again press enter so now it is showing the message that remove all the disk from the floppy disk drives and then press enter so what I have to do I have to click on this MS DOS settings I have to again go to the floppy disk so I don't have to now use that is this connected power option so that it should not be able to utilize anything so now I can see that I have to press enter and enter to continue so it has now Hyman test in memory so I can give the command that is DIR so you can see friends that the DOS has already been installed so you can see that even today with 64 bit operating systems it is how much easy in order to install DOS into VMware workstation so if you are a student of BCA or MCA and still want to experience DOS commands although the internal and external commands like undelete or even deltree or uh, you can say other commands like mem or color so ed even edit command the editor command so you can have the installation of ms dos and this is how in this video we have demonstrated that how to install ms dos into vmware workstation no matter which machine do you have the current so ms dos is very easy to go on so I wish you all the luck and happy playing with this MS DOS. Thank you so much. In the coming videos, we will be showing you how to install Linux and even Windows operating systems of different types into this uh, VMware workstation. So till then, goodbye, stay blessed, Godspeed you. Thank you.